This is how I sound like in my first few videos. Can you hear me breathing and spitting on the microphone? You should, because all I'm using is the built-in microphone from my iPhone 6, and I'm trying to keep the microphone as close to my mouth as possible so that it would not capture any other noise, which, obviously, it still does. Hear that? I know, it sucks. But! Down the line, I met some amazing people who were generous enough to give me tips and tricks, which I'll share in this video. Hack number one is the blanket. It's exactly what you think. Cover yourself up in a blanket and start talking. I won't get into the science too much, but the blanket does two things. One, it serves as a barrier between you and your outside environment. So in effect, you have your own mini studio. This can be challenging in a hot day because it's not the coolest place ever, but it does the job. And number two, it catches the sound waves as they bounce off so they won't sound like they're all over the place. Hack two is the bookcase. If you don't have a blanket lying around, this is a great alternative. Place your phone in a bookcase, place your mouth near the microphone, and start recording. If you have neither a blanket nor a bookcase, you can use your closet. The clothing inside will do the job perfectly. Hack number three is the DIY pop filter. I can't afford the real thing, so I made one. For those of you who don't know, this is a pop filter. It's a nice tool that makes voiceovers like this sound cleaner by blocking the explosives or the ta, ka, pa, etc. This is my improvised pop filter, which is actually my ring light that I wrapped with a stocking. If you don't have a ring light, use this thing so you won't have to hold it. Just find a bigger stocking, I guess. Oh, and if you haven't guessed, the pop filter is placed in between your microphone and your mouth. I got curious as to how it would sound like if I combined the hacks and used them all at once. So, I faced my bookcase, covered myself up in a blanket, put a pop filter in between my mouth and my microphone, and started talking. What do you think? Alright, so I also wanted to know if these hacks would work for creators with a bit of experience and more tools on their hands. Like for example, this um, lavalier microphone. And in my case, I also have this soundproof isolation panel, which I reviewed in a separate video. And you remember my DIY pop filter, don't you? This is my ring light, so I put my phone here in the phone holder part of the ring light. This is in between my mouth and the microphone and I start recording. This is how it sounds like when I incorporate the hacks that I just mentioned to my existing setup. So this is my lavalier microphone, and I have my DIY pop filter in between my microphone and my mouse. I covered myself in a blanket, and just to prove to you that it is my current setup, this is what's in front of me at this very moment, my noise isolation panels. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. Also. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.